This is a man whose organization develops software that identifies potential victims of trafficking online. And she's one of the girls that we're all waiting forward to turn 18. Ashton Kutcher's nonprofit Thorn has been criticized for privacy concerns as well as not actually addressing the root causes of trafficking like poverty and exploitation. When I was in grad school for women's and gender studies, anti-trafficking movements came up a lot. Thorn is not unlike many anti-trafficking organizations with nonprofit status. Mega churches like Hillsong are infamous for this exploitation of their devoted base of volunteers and the tax status afforded by being a church. You know the QAnon movie that came out recently, Sound of Freedom? Well, it was inspired by the work of Tim Ballard, the founder of Operation Underground Railroad, which Vice News has actually investigated extensively. They found that people who have volunteered for OUR have raised concerns that it could actually have been creating demand for trafficking victims by going to foreign countries on undercover missions that at times have seemed to consist of walking around bars and clubs asking for underage girls. Elizabeth Campbell, co-director of the University of Michigan's Human Trafficking Clinic, worries about the simplistic picture of trafficking. She says, it becomes easy for people to say, well, if I just spread a message that we need to support law enforcement in freeing these child victims, they don't have to do the hard work of asking what role they play in the purchasing of goods for forced labor. Vice also reported on this. Cambodia's aggressive anti-trafficking campaign is designed to rescue and rehabilitate S-workers, but many women say authorities in Cambodia are actually forcing them into a trade where conditions and pay are even worse, making clothing for a Western brand. This man does not seem competent, especially with the problematic statements he's made that align him with his buddy Danny Masterson to address issues that affect vulnerable girls and women. What do you think? Follow me for more cultural analysis from a feminist perspective.